Uh, all right, we're back here talking to Grand County Commissioner James Newberry. And, uh, you know, obviously, being commissioner, you've got some personal investment here in the community true, and uh, true. with uh, things going on. So let's talk about one that's very important to you. Uh, the water has been my passion for the past 10 years. We've, we've, we've had Kurt Clanky on the show true. talking about... Uh, uh, basically, Denver and uh, the rights they have to our water, and uh, going up to potentially taking eighty percent of the Fraser River here right, that comes right. through town, and that's kind of where we left off. Is and uh, he's exactly right. He set the stage perfect. Uh, so what you have to do is you have to negotiate from that standpoint if they want to come get that additional water. So we got into negotiations with Denver Water, Northern Water Conservancy District, who then comes into the municipal subdistrict uh, in uh, uh, under Northern Water. To deal with them, you have to deal with the Bureau of Reclamation. To deal with all of those people, you have to deal with the um, on the West Slope with the River District and the other counties that are affected by the diversion. So it became this huge, huge, huge network of the weeds, network yep. of negotiating and trying so, to do and trying to negotiate anybody, anything with anybody. Is, is a pain. What are we trying to accomplish? I mean, we're what, what's trying the, to what the, the idea get money was, for the water we're giving up, save some of the water to keep it up it's, here. It's all, it's all of that. Okay. Okay. So, what you what the the goal going in was? Can we? And this is going to sound odd. Can we be better off? Our our streams and our systems be better off with the firming projects going in place than we are today. Now, where we are today, I'm sure Kirk laid it out really well. Mm -hmm. We've got a deteriorating uh, infrastructure in our rivers. Our, our ecosystem is falling apart. They're dying rivers. Due to lack of water? Lack of flushing flows, lack of sustainable water. At certain times, the microinvertebrates can't make it. They can't reproduce. That can't give a healthy stream. Yeah. So how do you fix that? And, and real quick, not to cut you off, but uh, okay. why does Denver have rights for water? I mean, it's our water. It's coming from up here. No, yeah. And see, when you say our water, yeah, it doesn't. It, the state in in Colorado, you buy water rights. Okay. Uh, in Wyoming, as as so an Denver example, owns, has purchased is, those water in rights. Wyoming, all okay. water stays with the land. Okay. Great concept. In, in Colorado, so that's a state that thing, does state not by happen. state. Okay. State based, right. and therefore we have more water and attorneys it, than any other state in the uh, United States. And uh, so what they did was when they did the Moffat Tunnel, uh, as Which they is were doing that, tunnel that the train tunnel Denver, that comes yeah. in, you'll see it up the ski area. They built on, on the uh, construction tunnel right beside it. When they got to the other side, they said, what could we use this for? I'm, I'm kind of short story. Sure. This oh, thing. no, that's, we got And they said, time. well, we got all this water over here. Let's buy up some of these water rights from these ranchers down here, move it back over to Denver for a water source. Engineering marvel, to be honest with you, but uh, it really had a huge effect on the Fraser River. Uh, there was not many people in the county at that time either. Uh, so, you know, there's very few people to fight it. Sure. You know, so a couple of these ranchers that were up here trying to make it, they sold off their water rights. They sold all that off. People like me or you that moving as a ski bum, what do you care? What do you know? I mean, Actually, there was no really no ski bums back then. The, okay. the ski area kind of developed, and that's what started this whole thing, through the Moffat Tunnel. And then you had some of the people in Denver that came up and uh, through the rec. Uh, the recreation department in Denver, they were the ones that started Winter Park Resort. Okay. And, so, uh, so, so, so where have we gotten to today? Like, what, what progress have we made or what are some of the successes uh, well, you've Well, we're just recently? trying to catch up is what we're doing. We're okay. playing catch up now because they came up and once they saw they could buy those water rights, then they would buy senior water rights further downstream and they would just divert them at the headwaters, which caused a hole, caused a hole in the river and a dying river. They not only did that on the Fraser, but the... Um, Colorado Big Thompson went in also up in Grand Lake yeah. and took a, a big hunk of money out of, a uh, big hunk of money, sorry, water money, same thing, big hunk of water out of the uh, upper Colorado. So we've got the same problem in both areas. There's a hole in the river based on the fact there's low flows, there's no flushing flows, uh, the habitat is gone. So we went into the discussion of how can we fix this. It's better for the state, it's yeah. better for our economy. If all of us, if we have healthy streams, we have a healthy environment, that's what people come here Tourism, for. Tourism, right, exactly. It's back to nature come, and not a oh, yeah, people former come nature. Here yeah, and they yep. want to they go fishing, they want to go skiing, they want to do all the things that are outside, and they want to be part of the environment. And uh, if we destroy the environment, we've destroyed our economy. Yeah. So uh, that's what we came to a common agreement on both sides. So we've been negotiating that. At the end of the day, I'm going to skip forward to... Uh, we are now looking at what we have negotiated for, which we spent about $7 million over 10 another, years. Okay. Another $7 million. Keep that back in your mind yep. that we're still having to budget for that. In this negotiation, 
And uh, we feel like right now our engineers and uh, accountants uh, guess at about $160 million worth of infrastructure, wet water, and assets to Grand County. Just Grand County. $160 million. So they're million putting a dollars. value on what we, we have here? We, they, we have put a value on being able to build a reservoir. We now have water that we can store in Granby Reservoir and release for the environmental flows on the Colorado River, okay. which can bring it back to health. We've got bypass flows of a thousand acre feet that we can now put into the Fraser River, which is huge in the Fraser River, because we uh, one or two CFS in the Fraser really makes a huge difference on how healthy that river is. So, uh, we we uh, the way we look at it right now, and uh, hopefully we're gonna this is breaking news, so you guys got it here first, uh -oh. but uh, here we're gonna we go. try to, we're gonna try to start getting that out to the newspapers and stuff, and uh, really showing that that seven million dollar investment that we made in this overall thing is gonna really come back to us you know, hand over fist, and, uh, and we think in the $160 million plus, and that's that's just uh, phenomenal to me. So uh, possibly $160 million of revenue coming from... Not revenue. Okay. Assets, infrastructure, I'm talking about we have built a reservoir. We so have everything operating healthy, uh, looking... Operating okay. healthy, bypass flows, wet water in the streams, all of those things. Is there a time, time that it's going to take to have this infrastructure? We've already got the water oh. in Ran Granby Reservoir. Granby Reservoir is already built. We just made space in Granby Reservoir oh, I see to, put, to store the water. Okay, so it, it's really It's like it's allocating your funds, you're allocating really, the water to exactly. go there and, okay. And now we have a call on the river. And if you really want to get down into the weeds, it's the 10825 water for the endangered species down on the 10 mile reach down near Grand yep. Junction. And, and then it really gets complicated. This is the, this is the easy part. Well, I mean, this is <laughs> unbelievable amount of work and time and uh, oh, yeah. effort that I'm sure you personally put into this as well as, you know, as well, your position. But. Let, me, let me say this again. I'm going back to the coaching thing. Uh, I, yeah, I put some time in. But the staff and the people that we've hired, the people that we've put in position to be in that negotiating uh, arena have just done an outstanding job. And I cannot be more proud of the people that we have in Grand County and what they were able to achieve. Uh, they've fought hard and they fought well for Grand County. Well, that's incredible. I mean, you've definitely been a... A staple in the position. We hope to see you there for a, a lot longer, but thanks so much for all you do. And, uh, and with that, we're going to take a break and uh, see what's going on outside.